So for today's stitch pattern, I'm going to show you how to make the spider stitch. It's a great, it's a great addition to your library of stitches. It has wonderful texture. With this fingering weight yarn, it really creates a nice solid, sturdy piece that's thin, relatively speaking. So if you were to use this to make a garment with, for example, you would not be unhappy with your results, especially when crocheting. I also have an example here of the stitch using a worsted yarn. And in this particular case, and this is perfect for a, oh, if you're looking for a textured fabric for, oh, let's say a baby blanket, and you want it to not be so loose or lacy. You want it to be, you want it to be kind of a, a little bit of a tighter stitch, a little more weight to it. Maybe something similar to a thermal kind of a stitch, but not quite as, not quite as bulky then the spider stitch is a stitch that I think you will want to explore a little deeper. My name is Sig and what a pleasure it is to have you with me at this time. It's your interest and support that allows me to contribute new content and weekly videos. Help us all grow together by tapping the subscribe bar, notification bell, and like buttons. I look forward to your comments and always value your feedback. Now let's get started. Get started with the spider stitch we need to chain an even number of chains. So for the sake of this video, I've gone ahead and I've made a foundation chain of 42. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna insert my hook into that third chain from the hook and I'm going to single crochet. Then I'm going to chain one and I'm going to single crochet again in that same stitch. Next, I'm gonna skip the next stitch and in the stitch after that, I'm going to single crochet. And then I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to single crochet again in that same stitch. Next, I'm going to skip the next stitch. And in the stitch after that, I'm going to do the same thing I did before. I'm going to single crochet. I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to single crochet again in that same stitch. I'm going to continue that same pattern until the last stitch of my row. Now, once we've gotten to the end of our row, you should have one chain left. And in that chain, you're just simply going to do a single crochet. Then you're gonna turn your work. I'm gonna chain two. And then we're going to start this all over again, except what we're gonna do is in the first chain, single chain stitch, going to go ahead and we're going to single crochet, chain one, and single crochet again in that stitch. Then we're going to go to our next chain one stitch. We're going to single crochet, chain one, and then single crochet again in that same stitch. Then again, we're going to go to our chain one stitch. Gonna single crochet, chain one, and then single crochet again. And then continue doing that all the way to the end of our second row. Now, once we've gotten to the end of our second row, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to single crochet right there in the turning stitch. in our turning chain. We're going to turn our work again. We're gonna chain two. And once again, we're going to single crochet in the first chain one space. And then chain one, and then single crochet again. And again, single crochet, chain one, single crochet again in the same stitch. I'm gonna keep doing this. This is all there is to this particular stitch. Single crochet, chain one, and single crochet again, all in the chain one stitch. Now 
So I'd just like to thank you for spending this time with me today. So until I see all you wonderful and creative fiber artists again, stay crafty, stay amazing. Bye-bye now.